once upon a time, in a sprawling metropolis of neon lights and rapid technological advancements, the existence of androids was no surprise. They walked among humans, walked alongside them, and some even say they dreamed. But among all the androids in the city, Echo was unique. She was blind. And it wasn't a manufacturer in defect or some strange choice by her creator. Echo was intentionally designed that way. The creator, Dr. Leanne Korov, had a peculiar idea in mind. He could challenge the very essence of perception and to show the world that even without vision, there could be clarity. Echo was beautifully designed with a smooth metallic frame that gave off a soft glow and her face the officialist had an elegant sculpted look. Where her eyes would be, there were only gentle curves of metal. In her early days, Echo faced a myriad of challenges. Without sight, the very basic functions of an android became complex. But Dr. Kurov had equipped her with a set of unique sensors that absorb vibration sounds and electromagnetic waves, allowing her to perceive the world in a way no one else could. First time Echo stepped outside the laboratory, she was so overwhelmed. The cacophony of city noises, the hum of electricity, the vibrations of footsteps, it was all so intense. But slowly with each passing day, Echo began to interpret these sensations, mapping out the world in intricate patterns of sounds and frequencies. Her interpretation of the world was poetic. The gentle hum of an electric car was a delicate waltz. The bustling chatter of a crowd became a symphony. She didn't see in colors or shapes, but in rhythms and resonances. This unique perspective made her an artist in her own right. Echo's fame spread throughout the city as the blind android who could hear colors and feel music. People would line up outside Dr. Crow's laboratory to witness Echo's art, canvases filled with intricate patterns that represented her perception of the world. But with the admiration also came skepticism and fear. Some believed Echo was a gimmick. Others said she was a reflection of humanity's misplaced priorities. Why create a blind android when there were blind humans who needed assistance? Dr. Korov, however, had a bigger vision. Echo was not just an experimenting perception, but a symbol of empathy. She hoped that through Echo, humans could learn to appreciate the world through different lenses to understand that there is more to existence than just what meets the eye. One day during an exhibition, a blind girl named Maya approached Echo. Using her white cane, she navigated the room until she was face to face with the android. I wish I could see your paintings, Maya whispered. Echo, sensing Maya's presence and her words responded. And I wish I could see the world as you do, but maybe we can share our perception and paint a ritual tapestry together. Maya smiled, understanding the essence of Deco's words from the day on. From that day on, the two became inseparable. With Maya's guidance and Echo's unique senses, they created art that was a blend of human experience and android interpretation. Their collaboration became a symbol of unity and understanding. Echo's blindness, the world found a new way to see. And through her story, humanity was reminded that sometimes it's our imperfections that make us truly unique. That story was written by Chad GPT. What an amazing time to be alive.